Hey, what's up, guys? Thank you so much for joining me again. This is Loud Boy. I have been gone for a while. Well, I say gone. I've been sick. Over a week now. Multiple doctor visits, some kind of flu kind of thing, high fever, a cough. Given what I suffer through already on a normal basis, uh, I've had quadruple bypass heart surgery. And there's my lovely, I can't believe I just showed my scar. Um, so coughing is brutal, okay? And it's been tough. And I've had to sit there doing nothing for well over a week. I've been to the doctor twice. Three different antibiotics. Uh, steroids, I mean, I won't give you my whole medical regimen, but let's just say we've tried a lot of different things. And I've woken up every day feeling like it's Groundhog Day. It's just one day repeating itself over and over and over again. Been really frustrating. And that word doesn't even do it justice. So to say I'm really excited to be back is a gross understatement. And I've missed hanging out with you guys. I've missed making these videos. I've, been, I've missed my little room here. Uh, and, and coming in here and making videos and shooting stuff and playing games and creating it's uh, I've had like these, these handcuffs of illness on me and it's been really frustrating really difficult physically but also emotionally spiritually psychologically uh, and so to say that yeah I'm extremely excited to be back we are playing Ocarina of Time as you know and we're gonna go see a princess Princess Zelda at Hyrule Castle. We're going to make our way over there. We're going to go see her. We're going to learn a new song. We're going to meet Impa. And all this time off, if you will, down for the count, feeling like crap, day after day, Groundhog Day, time loops and time loops. Time travel's been on my mind a lot. I, I love time travel. It's my favorite subject of sci-fi. Absolutely favorite subject. Every movie, TV series episode that I can find with time travel in it. Uh, I find it f infinitely fascinating. The mechanics of it, the science of it, the potential science of it. It's in my novel. Um, I just love time travel. And, and more to that effect, I mean, this is one of the reasons I love Ocarina of Time. Okay? I, I, a great fantasy game that incorporates time travel baked right into the bread of it. And, and therefore, you know, it just makes sense. But time loops, again, I, every day, best reference that we all can come up with is Groundhog Day, of course. But there are many other references in uh, where time loops, okay? From Star Trek to Supernatural to 12 Monkeys to X-Files. And I could go on and on in and, and, and various movies. And I'm about to. I'm going to be making a series of videos about time travel. Yeah, it, again. It's my greatest love of sci-fi. Doctor Who, another great example. Not only time travel, but there are time loop examples in, in, in Doctor Who. So, that being said, I'm looking forward to making those. But I wanted to get back to Zelda. Literally, I wanted to get back to this game. My dad's been really looking forward to uh, my continuing adventures. Thank you, Dad, for watching. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening to my little opening intro here. I wanted to tell you where I've been. And most of all, from the bottom of my now repaired heart, I wanted to tell you that I am thankful you're here. And I'm thankful that you're watching. And, and I just want to say thank you. To all 138 of you, thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't done so, please do. Let's get to one of the greatest uses of time travel ever put in a video game. That's Ocarina of Time. Let's go see the princess, and we're going to go in three, two, one. Hey guys, check it out. So my dad just texted me, and he knows I've been sick for over a week now, and, uh, he, uh, he, he finished my new Deku Tree. And if you haven't checked that out, please do. Brand new recording of Deku Tree. And now we're about to go see the princess, as you know. 
Well, he wrote me and said, well, I'm watching the Spirit Temple. I'm not sure where to go next. He is graciously re-watching the series now that he knows that I'm remaking it. So he texts me that. He said, "So, but I'm watching the Spirit Temple, though. And uh, I said, cool. All right. But I said, your timing is perfect because uh, I'm about to go see the princess, which is what we're about to do. So anyway, without further ado, here we go. And as you can see, it is already nightfall is upon us. Navi is trying to get our... Yes. Ah. Hyrule Castle. Useful as always. Thank you, Navi. All right. And here it is. So this will be the first time in our adventure that we see these stall children. Something like that. Uh, these little skeleton kids that come out of the ground at night. And if you don't book it across Hyrule Field fast enough, you'll run into this. Because as soon as the sun comes down, evil comes out. And they literally just propagate, you know, pop right up out of the ground, out of Hyrule Field. Also, if you don't make it here before sunset, this is what you get. At, at sunset, they, uh, they pull up the drawbridge. And, you know, as any good castle would at night. And uh, there they are. You know, it's pretty useless fighting these guys. I just I just avoid them. Hey, hey guys. Oh, nice try. Um, so I, I just I've, I just like to avoid them, toy with them if I if I need to. Um, and as soon as the sun comes up again, we don't have the day song yet, so uh, I can't exactly shift day to night yet. But I can already see that the sun is beginning to rise. And if we, there it is. Okay, there's the moon going down. The sun's about to come up. And when they do, check out what happens to these guys. And see you later. With the breaking of the dawn and a new day, evil goes away. So one of the cool things that you can do right here at the drawbridge, if I don't fall off the silly chain, is you can walk straight up the chain right here. This is an old trick, but it's cool. And you can grab... A lovely red rupee there and you can also grab one on this side and or you can just fall into the water I mean whatever is your bag right um, no diving yet link there's not an ocarina just yet spoilers I've been watching a lot of uh, Doctor Who classic Doctor Who it's funny to call it classic now from you know, 2010 2011 2012 the Matt Smith years Matt Smith's definitely my favorite uh, doctor. Uh, I like David Tennant, but Matt Smith's my guy. Love the Matt Smith. And River Song, uh, one of his sometimes companions and one day wife, uh, she always says spoilers in her lovely British accent. So, um, anyway, I've been watching that. I, uh, and there it is, number two. All right, so guess what? As soon as we enter here, I'm going to show you something cool. I've had time travel on my mind a lot this past week. And a lot of that is because I feel like I've been stuck in Groundhog Day. I've been waking up every day hoping for this stupid illness to be gone. Or at least, you know, feel like I'm on the road to recovery, right? But no. Day after day after soul-grinding day, uh, I have felt like crap. Over and over again. It has been Groundhog Day from Hell, which I guess is kind of an oxymoron. So, all right, check it out. Right there, end of this room in the right crate that I just destroyed is a gold skull Tala. And let's see, what does that give us now? Yeah, four. This, that's our fourth one. This room is also a great place to tank up on, as you can see, rupees, which is what I'm doing. And what's great is the second you leave the room, those will respawn and you've got a room full once again and you just go slash and burn come in here grab some rupees and let's see our wallet's not very big yet what is it, about 100 i think yeah, 99 yeah all right so real quick we went from in the teens to just about 100 just by the gate and inside the gate this is the marketplace right outside of Hyrule Castle. 
There's lots of stores and games and stuff. Right over here, up these stairs, that's the Temple of Time, which will be crucial to everything going on. This girl is also crucial. And as you can see, this is all kind of a pre-rendered area. So it has like just one forced perspective in which you can walk around. You can go in these back alleys like this. Literally, it's called the back alley. Um, it is so good to feel better. I, I have missed you guys. I have missed making these videos. I have been stuck in Groundhog Day and, and, and I, I've been wondering like, how do I break the loop? How do I get out of this time loop? And, and since I've been thinking so much about time travel, I have several videos on this very subject matter that I'm going to be making. Uh, I've already kind of planned them out, scripted them out, done a bunch of research. Anyway, stay tuned for those. Some uh, time travel, my favorite, favorite uh, sci-fi subject is time travel. Time loops, Groundhog Day style, but there's so many great examples throughout the great television series that I love, different movies where time loops or as, uh, what do they call it, a uh, like a repeating temporal anom anomaly, something to that effect, and they call it in the Star Trek. Um, it's supernatural. One of the best episodes ever is called Mystery Spot, in which they do a Groundhog Day style. And the reason I love, and this is Milan, by the way, her uh, dad owns the Long Long Ranch, and uh, there is Malon, Milan, whatever, and... Uh, yeah, she's telling me that her dad has gone up to the castle to deliver some milk. I'm kind of all over the place. You can tell I'm kind of excited to be back. Um, back to time travel. I find that time loop stories are not only, they can be super fun, have a lot of creative opportunities for storytelling, character development, overall narrative and plot development uh, of the series and or movie, but can also lead to some amazing dramatic uh, effects, uh, dramatic storylines. So it's not just comedy, it's drama as well. And I just, I love that. I love time travel. I love time loop stories. And of course, uh, <clears throat> a time travel story in its own self we're playing right now. So this is the bazaar where you can buy stuff kind of like in that Kakarijo, uh, I can't talk today, over in the, uh, the, the village from whence we came. So, um, I need to catch my breath, don't I? Alright, take it down a notch, Eric. Alright, so check it out. Hylian Shield, 80 rupees. But guess what? We can get that sucker for free, and I'll show you how. So stay tuned for that. We do not have to pay 80 for the Hylian Shield here. So, just want a quick aside on that one. And over in this, let's see, what do we have? Potion shop? Yeah potion shop where you can buy different things like pose red potion green potion you can actually put those in your bottles and have them restore hearts for you and stuff like that now the castle's right up this way all right so here we go up to the castle it is really great to be back guys and uh i won't i won't keep harping on that but um I can't tell you how frustrating it's been to have my entire life put on hold because of illness. Very frustrating. Because, you know, not only have I had to call in sick to work, you know, my, my day job, if you will, but I've also had to... Oh, crap, I said yes. Yes, thank you. No, I don't want to hear this again. Um, but... I haven't been able to come into my little room here, my little studio, and, and, and hang out with you guys. And so, and just being sick, it's it's been very frustrating. And I know we've all been sick before, and I know this is nothing groundbreaking or shattering, but when, when the things that you love are taken away, the things that make you happy, define who you are and especially the things that you you know let's just say I, I missed it and it's been frustrating and it's been one of the greatest recent 
needs for patience that I've had to have. I've had to be extremely patient with myself uh, and just giving myself time to heal and, and finding the right solution uh, from the doctors in multiple trips. And uh, it's been difficult. So I'm glad to be back. And I'll try to cut short my thoughts on that very subject because now guess what? Yeah, good. I'm glad he caught me. See, you, you know what happens, right? Every time I start talking and, but you know what? I did that on purpose. Check it out. We should have a friend right around the corner this time. By the way, as I was talking about being sick, such a fun subject, right? Um, I forgot the fact that when I bumped that tree, even during the daytime, a gold skull tulip pops out. So that's number five. So guess who's here? She's still wondering about her silly dad who went up to deliver milk to the castle and he's still not back. And she's asking, hey, can you help me out? Yes. What a thing for an adult to do. Oh yeah? Well, I'll look for him. I'll give this to you. She's giving us an egg. Tee hee. And there it is. All right, like our other objects, we can map this to our yellow buttons as it just described on the screen. Let's check it out. There it is right there on the inventory screen. I'm gonna swap it out for that button. Got it. Now, the great thing is she's already been incubating this egg. However, it has not hatched yet. It will hatch, however. Oh, come on here. Climb the vines. It will hatch, however, when we see the sun come up. That is the skeleton key, if you will, that will unlock the hatching of the egg and giving us the great prize that we need. Let's try not to get caught this time. Booyah. All right. You know, you do something a thousand times, but when it, you really got to do it perfect, you know, like do it right. Ah, Murphy's Law, right? Uh, but anyway, Easy enough, this is the path that you take to get to the castle. I can already see that this, the sky is getting lighter. The sun is about to come up. Using that little brick stone thing on the wall there, we can climb that into here. And guess what? With the rising of the sun, it's a new day and we have a new egg that's hatched. And check it out, now on our yellow button, we have a chicken icon. There's also a secret here as well. There's two secrets here. There's a, spoilers, uh, there's, a, there's a hidden hole. We'll get to that in a later installment. And then also at nighttime, I believe there's a gold skulltella in that tree. So, all right, there he is, Mr. Sleepyhead. Who has a really strong passing familiar, I mean, doesn't he look like Mario? Kind of does to me. And he's sleeping away. All right, so let's press yellow button. What in tarnation? Can't a person get a little shut eye around? I'm making him southern. Can't a person get a little shut eye around here? <laughs> I, knew, <coughs> I knew if I started uh, laughing, I would start coughing. Still getting over this crap, guys, but uh, I'll be all right. Hello, who might you be? <laughs> yep. I'm Talon, owner of the Lon Lon Ranch. I went to the castle to deliver some milk, but I say, I sat down here to rest and I just guess fell asleep. I'm totally like improvising this. What? Malon's looking for me? I'm going to catch up for her now. <laughs> it's the worst southern accent. And you'd think I'd be able to do one. I messed up bad leaving Malon. You better wait for me. She's really going to let me have it. Wow. Worst line reading ever. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're really getting the best of Loud Boy today, guys. All right. Mini puzzle time. Not really. Just grab these crates. These are his crates of milk, by the way. Which, by you know, they've, they're going to go bad in this Hylian sun if we leave them out too long. But I digress. All right. So grab the, grab the crate. Push it into the water. And we do the same for the other, except it then lands on the top. There we go. 
Now, there is one more thing that we have to consider. We are breaking into the back part of the castle at this point. The guards will not let us through the front door. I mean, go imagine, right? Some little punk from the forest, like, who the heck are you? And uh, Zelda hasn't even met us yet. So. We're breaking in the back. But what that... There's our little chime. All right. Climbing up here. We jump across. However, it's still daytime, isn't it? That matters. Because during the day... Okay. Meaning, it's day or night, they have guards posted there. So, forgive me. Uh, they're not posted. We're good to go. So, this is like a series of puzzles. Moving puzzles, if you will. With these guard, these centurions, if you will. These guards, uh, sentries posted here. They make their rounds. And our trick is to navigate this little course and not get caught by them. Oh, this one has two. Oh, crap. Uh, look the other way, look at it. Okay. Sometimes you can get by when he's not looking that direction. I just got away with it, so. All right. This can be tricky, although it's a lot less tricky than going on the ground. Because on the ground, you have to avoid the guard that's placed down there. And should I go for it? Yeah, baby. Okay, go, 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 go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. All right. Final puzzle. Oh, am I this lucky? Oh. Run, 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 Link. Run, 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 buddy. Run, run, run. Yeah. <laughs> That's got to be a new record. It's bloody luck. Okay, but that was cool. And there she is. This is the castle courtyard. Before we go see the princess, though, I want you to come see these windows. Let's look at this artwork in here. Oh, look at that. I see Princess Peach. I see Mario from 64. It's flying pose. And that is Yoshi. Okay. It's a great little Easter egg. Hold on. Hold on. And let me look back this one direction. There's one more. Yep. And there's Bowser. Not the best renditions, okay? Kind of, but isn't that cool, guys? I love that Mario's there through the window. You know, I've never really checked this one. Yeah, I think this one's not, not much going on there. All right, so let's talk to the princess. Who? Who are you? How did you get past the guards? Oh, what's that? Is that a fairy? Then you are, are you from the forest? Then, then you wouldn't happen to have the spiritual stone of the forest, would you? That green shining stone? Do you have it? Yes, we do. Just as I thought. I had a dream. In the dream, dark clouds were billowing over the land of Hyrule. But suddenly, a ray of light shot out of the forest, parted the clouds, and lit up the ground. The light turned into a figure holding a green and shining stone, followed by a fairy. I know this is a prophecy that someone would come from the forest. Yes. I thought you might be the one. Oh, I'm sorry. I got carried away with my story. I didn't even properly introduce myself. I am Zelda, Princess of Hyrule. What is your name? Link? Strange. It sounds somehow familiar. Okay then, Link. I'm going to tell you the secret of the sacred realm that has been passed down by the royal family of Hyrule. Please, keep this a secret from everyone. Okay. The legend goes like this. It's 
The three goddesses hid the Triforce, containing the power of the gods somewhere in Hyrule. The power to grant the wish of the one who holds the Triforce in his hands. If someone with a righteous heart makes a wish, it'll lead Hyrule to a golden age of prosperity. If someone with an evil mind has his wish granted, the world will be consumed by evil. That is what has been told. So, the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the Triforce from evil ones. Remember the Temple of Time? Yeah. We'll be going there shortly. That's right. The Temple of Time is the entrance through which you can enter the sacred realm from our world. But the entrance is sealed with a stone wall called the Door of Time. And in order to open the door, it is said that you need to collect three spiritual stones. And another thing you need is the treasure that the royal family keeps along with this legend. The Ocarina of Time. Did you understand well the story I just told you? That's great. I forgot to tell you. I was spying through this window just now. The other element from my dream, the dark clouds, I believe they symbolize the man in there. Will you look through the window, Adam? Sure. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? That is Ganondorf the leader of the Gerudos. They hail from the far desert to the west. The desert far to the west. Though he swears allegiance to my father, I'm sure he is not sincere. The dark clouds that covered Hyrule in my dream, they must symbolize that man. Oh. Can't stand that guy. What happened? Did he see you? Don't worry. He doesn't have any idea what we're planning. Yet. Yes. I told my father about my dream. However, he didn't believe it was a prophecy. But, I can sense that man's evil intentions. What Ganondorf is after must be nothing less than the Triforce of the Sacred Realm. He must have come to Hyrule to obtain it. And he wants to conquer Hyrule. No, the entire world. Link, now we are the only ones who can protect Hyrule. Please. Thank you. I, I am afraid I have a feeling that man is going to destroy Hyrule. He has such terrifying power, but it's fortunate that you have come. We must not let Ganondorf get the Triforce. I will protect the Ocarina of Time with all my power. He shall not have it. You go, find the other two spiritual stones. Let's get the Triforce before Ganondorf does, and then defeat him. One more thing, take this letter. I'm sure it will be helpful for you. We got Zelda's letter. Crucial to entering the next area in which we must venture. Um, you'll see soon enough. We're going to do that in the next, almost next installment. Um, anyway, up Death Mountain. All right, there's a, there's a gate there at Kakariko Village, and uh, you'll see. And if you don't already know, I'll show it to you. So there you go, guys. That is our princess. Lovely young lady. Grows up to be a fierce and determined young woman who is our companion and our friend. And speaking of, this lady is also very important to us. I am Impa of the Sheikahs. I am responsible for protecting Princess Zelda. 
Everything is exactly as the princess foretold. You are a courageous boy. You're heading out on a big, new adventure, aren't you? My role in the princess's dream was to teach the melody to the one from the forest. This is the ancient melody passed down by the royal family. And I've played this song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. There is a mysterious power in these notes. Now listen carefully. You know, I like to call this the Triforce song. Look at the triangles, right? Two repeating series of uh, triangles, just like a Triforce, aka Zelda's Lullaby, but I most of the time I call it the, uh, the Triforce song. If you see my other videos, you know as much. You learn Zelda's lullaby. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. So let me lead you out of the castle. All right. Princess Zelda and Impa. Two powerful ladies. Two of our great friends. People that we need in this adventure so that we can beat that evil jerk. Ganondorf, you brave lad. We must protect this beautiful land of Hyrule. Take a good look at that mountain. That is Death Mountain, home of the Gorons. They hold the spiritual stone of fire. At the foot of Death Mountain, you will find my village, Kakariga Village. That is where I was born and raised. You should talk to some of the villagers there before you go up Death Mountain. The song that I just taught you has some mysterious power, and only royal family members are allowed to learn this song. Remember, it'll help you prove your connection to the royal family. The princess is waiting for you to return to the castle with the stones. All right, we're counting on you. Classic Sheikah move right there. One which we're going to see quite a bit in the future, as you already know. Um, Sheik. Spoilers uh, in the future. Um, and if you haven't seen it yet, one of my latest videos, not only is the brand new uh, Deku Tree starting our adventure. Once upon a time, there was a young boy named Link. So yeah, check that one out if you haven't already. The part that comes right before this. But also, um, yeah, Spirit Temple blast had a real blast making that one out uh in the desert and guess what it is like pretty much the last stop before we beat ganondorf so really i'm coming at this talk about time loops and time travel i'm remaking the series from the beginning as i'm finishing up the series on the other end but my goal here is to have an entire series of which i can be proud that's why I'm redoing these episodes. Uh, they're going to look better, sound better, and with better graphics. Anyway, I hope you enjoy them. Because I'm having a blast remaking them. And But also, um, yeah, I, I want to be proud of what I have online. I'm not proud of some of the early stuff. And I may have mentioned this before if you've heard it before. Sorry, spoilers and repeats here, but um, more time loops. Um, but guys, please, uh, next time... We are going to Kakariko Village. We've got a bunch of stuff to do, and then we're going to head up Death Mountain. And until that next time, I hope you guys are doing well. It is great to be back. It feels amazing to not be as sick as I was. I, I'm on the mend, and that's why I'm sitting here now. That's why I'm real stoked to be hanging out with you guys again. I am thrilled and honored that you're watching dad uh that means a lot to me buddy it really does and i and you're an insanely busy guy with vast amount of your own creative endeavors that you partake in every day so the fact that you'll spend your downtime watching your your brat me 
uh, play some games and hanging out with me, that means a lot, Dad. And just as much, it means a lot for the, all you guys are hanging out with me. So anyway, until next time, guys, you uh, thank you so much.